Yeah, can you get one? Yeah. Okay. Why he look like Cochise? <laughs> you know, it takes a special type of man to sniff his own father's chair after he gets up. And when I say special, I'm talking about a couple of extra chromosomes. In all seriousness though, the hype around this clown has been dying down. I don't know if his streaming farms in the Philippines got raided by their government or what's going on. But for the past couple of weeks, he isn't averaging nearly as many viewers. And his numbers across the board are definitely down as people kind of get tired of his antics. You know, all those kids finally graduated 5th grade and they're ready to move on to someone else. Now when it comes to our other fan favorite, Jack Doherty, He's still out here doing his thing, hiding behind his security. Yo, no, no. What are, what are you fucking doing, bro? Don't you touch me. Don't touch what are you? They didn't touch me. Yes, you are. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you, yeah, you did, did, bro. Yeah, man. You in my space, motherfucker. My space. You don't do shit around here to protect him from not doing shit. What are you doing? What are you getting out of this? I'm getting out of not being your little commentary. We weren't even recording. You just, you just, just ran out here and yelled. Doesn't mean anything to me. I'm not part of your social experiment. Fuck Looking back down. Entertain children. Thank you so much. No, we're getting a great video out of this, for real. That's what you way. are, your children. Yo, you're tripping. Put your you're ego away. Why? This is why we got security. Yo. So as suspected, people are starting to wise up to who this kid is. And like the guy says in the Ooh, video, Aaron, he's not interested in being the butt of his joke. I mean, I'm really just waiting. Don't disrespect Jake Paul like that, bro. Jake Paul has done some stupid his day but like waiting for the lawsuit to happen at this point because his security guards oh, have gotten in people's faces they've tried to intimidate various people on one occasion they even knocked this guy out cold for doing absolutely nothing and it's clear that these security guards are not trained professionals here jack tries to take his rented lamborghini and drive up into the bay of an airport and he got checked real quick one more act like that you're gonna be arrested airport security's coming down Park that thing over there. I'm, done. I'm sorry, I won't do that again. None of that shit. My bad. I'm sorry. You are on a federal property. Thank you. This is an active ramp. I'm sorry. And this guy is going to learn one day that you think you're untouchable until you're not. And at that point, no one is going to feel bad for you because of all of the douchebaggery that you brought onto this planet. Like, I see a lot of people out there on the internet praying for some diabolical things to happen to this man. Either way, the big update here was that Jack actually got a 24-hour ban. I mean, I thought over on Kick they didn't even do this type of thing. I thought it was pretty much just an Damn, everything goes kick. type of platform. And does anyone else just hate this photo of him? This motherfucker's out here looking like a bitmoji. I mean, back where I'm from, we call this shit a waterhead, okay? Big ol' head. Can't even measure the circumference of that shit. You're gonna need an extra tape measure. And I'm sure some of you might be wondering, well, why did this guy get banned? Well, a couple of days ago, he decided to ride out in public and have women flash him for his stream. Let's go viral right now. Let's go viral right now. Yeah, let's go. Who cares? Take that shit off. Yeah, it will. It will right now. If I make you take your bra off right now, come on, real quick. Take your bra off for me. Do it real quick. Alright, go. No one cares. There's seven, whatever the fuck that is. Let's go. Oh, yes. Ooh, is it good? Bro, you're gonna get banned, dude. Did you do that? I did do it. Yeah, you did. Hey. And yes, he did indeed get banned, but only for 24 hours. I mean, Kick really doesn't give a shit. I mean, let's say you did this over on Twitch as a male streamer, and those guys over there would probably call for your public execution the very next day. I mean, where do you guys fall when it comes to the line of thinking that mainly kids are probably watching this stream, so this is really not an okay thing to be doing? Like, I'm sure at this point, the youth, especially like in America, their brains are just especially up like with the things they've likely encountered online at this point at a very young age i wouldn't be surprised if they all have like ptsd i mean you go on twitter now and you literally just see videos of death you see a bunch oh of oh my god twitter is up ever since elon got twitter back bro shit is crazy bro twitter is quite literally just free fucking for all bro porn death niggas racist it's it's insane bro like, I'm not gonna lie, Twitter when cancel culture was a thing was annoying. But for the most part, as long as you didn't do nothing stupid, you were cool. Now Twitter is like back to 2011 Twitter. The only difference is we've got motherfuckers with no sense of like any common sense on Twitter now. And we live in the age of clout. So niggas are getting stupider and doing stupider things for likes and tweets. 
to random OF girls promoting their content in the comments of random viral tweets that have nothing to do with anything explicit. But there it is, you open it up, you just see a big old swinging pair of titties. And as a grown man, yeah, from time to time, I appreciate it. I need you to humble my agent on Madden. I asked him to wager, he ducked me. I need you to humble agent on Madden, I beg. I, I, I listen, bro. I, I dead ass tried to like get him to um play me, wager me, and he ducked me. It, but I'm thinking about the Don't kids ever see here. The replies of an interracial couple between a white and black person, bro. Listen, this shit's crazy, bro. Agent knows how to pick his battles. Agent only plays people he for sure he will beat. You see how he, you notice how he stopped playing me in FIFA after he realized I was just waxing him. Guys, you know, back in my day, you wanted to TK see something Fantasy like that. You had to hop on the now? PSP. Y'all, you mean like franchise mode? So wait, Scum Madden League is 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 back? No, the teams are already accounted for. If you're in the Madden League uh tab in Discord, we're gonna look through it later. We'll be talking about it. Niggas know what it is. Okay, so here's how it's gonna work though. We download updated roster uh, rosters, updated draft classes, and then we uh we sim through the season. I'm going to sim through the season. I'm going to give teams. I'm going to do the whole score shit. And we're going to start from next year. Yeah. Or, I mean, we could play the playoffs this year if y'all want. We could start from the playoffs. But uh, if your team's not in the playoffs, that's low-key kind of tough. Real OGs know what I'm talking about. Good times. Good times. Either way, Jack just continued on with his flashing adventure. And what makes this clip so much funnier is the girl that continues to flash him time and time again. Is somehow apparently Sneeko's ex girlfriend? <laughs> like, why does this guy continually get involved with women who are so willing to put their body on the line for clout? Do it, 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 God. Oh my god. I mean, at some point, do you got to appreciate. How old is, um, what's his name? Heal Mike? How old is Heal Mike? Ain't that he like 28, 29? 26? Oh, he's my age? Damn. God. I mean, at some titties. point, do you got to appreciate how much this guy titties, really man? doesn't give a shit? I mean, I do got to say, I like him more than Neon. At least he actually took the punch in the face, right? We gotta have the punch in the screen again. Imagine seeing your ex-girlfriend on this type of shit. I would be sick to my stomach. Nigga, this is someone who off. you've shared intimate moments with. Maybe someone who you deeply cared about. Now she's just out here showing off her titties for clout. For some 14 year old kick boys in the chat. And so, either way, Jack got unbanned rather quickly, like I said earlier. He says, Haha, I'm back, bitches. Live on kick. And obviously, this guy just loves the chaos. He loves the degeneracy. His cover photo over there is even a screen cap of that moment he had out on the boardwalk where he got checked by those two older men. And now, this has to be the saddest thing I've ever seen on the internet, like, bar none. My maid is getting my name tattooed on her right now. Look at this. Look up close. This is real. Like she actually has my full name tattooed on her right now. Uh, how do you feel? Amazing. Yeah, you feel so good. Yeah, I do. Getting the forearm tattoo for this guy is just insane. Ooh, we look what money make a bitch do. Yo, every single day, I'm reminded of that young nudie clip, and it's so true, bro. Ooh, we look what that money make a bitch do. Mm -mm -mm. Wasn't this what Andrew was doing to his girls to like label them? I yeah. do think that Jack has a very similar business model going on. 
I told you guys before how he finds these girls. Maybe they have a small OF page. Maybe they haven't even done any adult content yet. To my knowledge, he brings them into his house, tries to blow them up on social media with these dumb videos, collects the lion's share of their money, and then just pays them out that way like a livable wage. No! I swear to God! No! I swear. I mean, imagine someone getting married to this woman in the future. This is somebody's future wife. Modern day oh. pimp. This is the same shit that uh, Andrew Tate was doing that they was calling him a, a terrible man for. That's literally what this nigga doing. He just managing OnlyFans hoes. Modern day pimp. Internet, internet pimp. That's literally what he is. It's actually the best, one of the best professions in modern day because the way the world sells sex, that nigga's running it up. Like all actually no. Cover, yep. cover it with a shadow. Um, what did oh, you get paid for that? Like eighty thousand dollars? I did it because I love him. I mean, this has to be one of the worst decisions I've ever seen a human on this earth make. And so, of course, when Kick had announced that Jack had been banned, a lot of people definitely got very excited, only for their hopes and dreams to be killed when they found out that he would be back a mere 24 hours later. But it looks like there might be light at the end of this tunnel because, as you guys know, Aiden Ross, he has a lot of- The godfather of Kick. Pool over on Kick. And he actually wants them to That's permanently crazy. ban this man. Kick has Aiden been banned. Jack to her, he heal Mike. Can, can this be permanent, bro? Eddie, please, bro. Oh, they're already back. Oh, nice. What was it like a five-hour suspension? I, I mean, at this point, guys, I'm blaming Doctor Phil for this shit. He had Jack on a couple of years back, and he could have steered him in the right direction. Wait, this nigga was on Doctor Phil. Directions. These niggas is industry plans, bro. Y'all know that, right? These niggas is industry plants, quite literally industry plants. That whole little section of them, industry plants. Sent him over to the ranch. All I know is that these guys just keep getting more degenerate by the day. I just truly do not know how long this era can really last. I mean, I don't see what they're doing is very sustainable. Either way, it still makes for some fun content to dunk on these clowns and even the people around them, like that idiot who got the tattoo. But y'all let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think that there will start nah, being some legit. restrictions Same. on That's Kick? Do you think at some point they are going to have to enforce their TOS a little bit more That's explicitly? Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like, and subscribing.